Hello, first grade. Let's finish lesson four today. So lesson four, it starts on page 58. And let's look at this page. This is listen and speak two. And then today we're also going to look at this page. This page here is page 61. So page 60 and page 61. Okay. So this is our review. Last time we uh, had a video, we learned, the, we learned the question, what did you blank? What did you blank? We're gonna use the verb do. So what did you do? We're gonna say yesterday, last weekend, last month, goes here. So what did you do yesterday? What did you do last weekend? If we want a different verb, we can say, what did you eat yesterday? What did you watch yesterday? What did you play yesterday? All right, and then we answer, yesterday I played soccer. Yesterday I, and you change do to past tense, yesterday I did homework. Last weekend, last month, I blank. All right. This was our sentence form. Verb, noun, preposition, noun. Did is the past tense of do. Many of you know that. So do, did. All right, so played games. So what did you do yesterday? I played, past tense verb, I played games at the PC room. So what did you do yesterday? Yesterday, I played games at the PC room. All right. Now we have this. Read a book at home. Read a book at home. What did you do yesterday? So I'll say it, you say it after me. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday, I read a book at home. Yesterday, I read a book at home. Read, read, because this is past tense. Read, read, do, did. Okay, so remember, read is present tense, read is past tense. Okay. All right, now for this one, our verb is study. When you see S-T-U-D, Y, S-T-U-D-Y, study. If it ends with Y, change to an I. So, studied at the library. All right, let's look at our new stuff. All right, so the new stuff is page 61. Here we go. We're asking the question, where did he go? Where did she go? The answer, he went to blank. She went to blank. This is a place, place name. And then this question, where is it? Where is it? And it is blank, blank, which is a prepositional phrase. It is in blank. It is on blank. It is at blank. All right, so where did he go? I read it first, then you can say it with me. Where did he go? Where did he go? He went to school. He went to school. All right? Our past tense verb is did. Where did he go? So the past tense will change go to the word went. Go went. Where did he go? He went to school. Okay? School is our place. Where did she go yesterday? So now, this is without, without, time word. This is with, with a time word. We're going to say yesterday. 
So remember, this needs to be present tense verb, this needs to be the past tense verb, but then the answer, our verb, changes to past tense form. So me first and then you, right here. Where did she go yesterday? She went to school yesterday. Okay? This is our time word. She, noun, past tense verb, preposition, object of preposition, time. This answers when. This is an adverb. When did this happen? When did this happen? Yesterday. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, let me go back real quick. So here's our form. Noun, verb, preposition, place, and then when. Okay. All right, guys. Me first and then you. Where did he go last weekend? He went to a PC room. Okay. Last weekend is our time word, our adverb. This is telling us it's past tense. Past tense. Past tense. Our verb is go. We're going to change go to went. So, noun, verb, preposition, place. Okay, let's do another one. Where did she go? She went to a PC room last weekend. She went to a PC room last weekend. Okay, let's do something easy. Where is it? So where is my textbook? Where is my textbook? This is my desk. My test textbook is on my desk. So if I ask the question, where is my textbook? You can say, it is on the desk. Preposition phrase, on desk. Okay, let's do another one. Where is the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? It is in the hall. It's outside the room, in the hall. It is, we're gonna change to it was. All right, where is my textbook? We said it is on the desk. But I'm going to take it now. It's now in my hand. Where was the textbook? It was on the desk. I'm gonna put it back on the desk. Okay. Now, two prepositions for more information. All right? Where is the English room? We're in the English room right now. You could say, it is in the school. Where in the school? It is located on the first floor between the principal, principal's office and the stairs. Look how long that is. One preposition, and then our second preposition. But then there's more information, because when you use the word between, it's between two places. One place and the second place. So that's one place, that's one place, first place, second place. How about this? Let's do one easier. Where is the bottle of milk? Say it with me. Where is the bottle of milk? Where is the bottle of milk? It is in the refrigerator next to the juice. So two prepositions. In the refrigerator next to the juice. Okay. So answer these questions at home. Where are you now? I am at blank in blank. I'll answer the question. Where, where am I? I am at school in the English room. I am at school in the English room. Where are you? How about this? Where did you go last weekend? I went to blank. Or I stayed blank. I stayed at home. Or, I went to the movie theater. Hopefully you stayed at home. Okay, here's a dialogue for present tense. Where do you want to travel? 
I want to travel around Jeju Island. Where is Jeju Island? It is in Korea, to the south, on the East Sea. And can you see how I separated it? It is in Korea, finished. More information. It is in Korea, to the south, finished. More information. It is in Korea, to the south, on the East Sea. We're asking where do, where do you want, and we're ask, also asking where is. Two questions for lesson four, okay? Let's try it in past tense. Where did he go last weekend? Say it with me. Where did he go last weekend? He went to a soccer game. Where was the soccer game? It was in Seoul. So we're changing our verb. Did, was, was. Okay. Last one. Future tense. Where will she go next vacation? She will not go anywhere. Really? Where will she be staying? She will stay at home. This is different. A little different. Because we don't answer this question. She doesn't go, she will not go anywhere. So, where will she be? She will be at home. Okay, guys, that's it. Here's our practice. Simple answers and questions. Where is the blank? Where is the blank? Where is that? It is in, it is in, it is in, and then tell me the place. First one, where is that? Or, where is the Statue of Liberty? It is in the United States. There are different pictures, as you can see, of different places. Where is it? I want you to answer these questions for me. As you go through the PPT, answer these. This is Egypt, but what is the name of this place? I don't know. So I'm going, to ask, I'm going to ask the question, where is that? And you can say, it is in Egypt. All right, guys, that's it for then. That's it for now. Let's take a look at our textbook, which will be on page 61. Here we go. Okay, looking at our textbook, page 61, at the top, listen and speak to. Let's look at part A, listen and choose. Which sentence is correct? There are two answers, but we have four items to choose from. The first one says, the girl went to Chinatown in Incheon, or the girl went to China last month. The next question, the girl went to Jeju-do with her family, the girl went to Jungdo in Jolanam-do. What is the answer? We're going to have to listen to both dialogues to find out. When you know the answer, put an X in the box. Here we go. One. My family went to Chinatown last weekend. Where is it? It's in Incheon. You should visit it someday. Two. I went to Jungdo with my family. Jungdo? Where is that? It's in Jolanamdo. It's a beautiful island. Okay. What did we hear in the first dialogue? They talked about Chinatown. So the answer should be obvious. The girl went to Chinatown in Incheon. What about the second answer? Where did she go? She went to Jungdo. And where is Jungdo? It is in Jolanamdo. Okay, now let's look at part B. Listen and check. What are they looking at? They are looking at pictures. There are three pictures of different places on Earth. But which picture are they looking at? Let's listen to the dialogue to find which picture they're looking at and then answer the question, where is the lake? Here we go. Alice, look at this. What is it? It's a picture of Lake Hillier. Wow, the water is really pink. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, where is this?
this lake? It's in Australia. I'd like to go there someday. Okay, let's listen to the dialogue again. I want to know the name of the lake they are looking at. Here we go one more time. Alice, look at this. What is it? It's a picture of Lake Hillier. Wow, the water is really pink. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, where is this lake? It's in Australia. I'd like to go there someday. Okay, where would the girl like to go someday? She would like to go to Lake... What is the name of the lake? Lake Hillier. Okay, so looking at the three pictures, which one is Lake Hillier? It's the third picture. How do we know? Because the water is really pink. So, where is Lake Hillier? Where is the pink lake? It's in Australia. Okay, now let's turn the page. Now on page 62, Real Life Talk, we're going to watch the Lesson 4 video. There are two questions I want us to answer. The first question is, where did Jiho go last weekend? And what did he do there? Let's watch the video and listen to the dialogue that Jiho has with his friend. Here we go. Hi, Jiho. How was your weekend? It was great. I went to my uncle's farm with my family. Oh, where is the farm? It's in Suwon. What did you do there? We planted some vegetables and enjoyed a barbecue. Sounds wonderful. Okay. We're going to watch the video one more time to get our two answers. Here we go. was great. I went to my uncle's farm with my family. Oh, where is the farm? It's in Suwon. What did you do there? We planted some vegetables and enjoyed a barbecue. Sounds wonderful. All right. So, first Kate, the girl, said, Hi, Jiho. How was your weekend? How did Jiho respond? It was great. Where did Jiho go last weekend? He went to his uncle's farm in Suwon. Kate then said, oh, where is the farm? That's when Jiho said, it's in Suwon. So she used the key phrase, where is it? And he said, it's in blank. Next, Kate asked, what did you do there? So what did Jiho do in Suwon? He planted some vegetables and enjoyed a barbecue. And then Kate said, sounds wonderful. Okay, that concludes lesson four. We're all finished now. If you need help on any dialogues, you can always use these pages. This is page 156. And lesson four dialogue is here. This is lesson part one, part two, and then right here is the real life talk dialogue. So please look at your scripts if you need any help. Sometimes they speak, they talk too fast. Sometimes they talk too fast. Use your book, it's there to help you. Anyway, good job today. And if you have questions, please let me know. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend.